Howdy, I'm Gabrielle. Welcome to Bubble Bath Vlog. We're here to make all of your baths blissful. Today on the show, we're going to be reviewing Philosophy's Hop Into Spring gift box. Here's what it looks like in the store. This is a set of three different spring-related bubble baths. They all come in the small 6-ounce size, uh, as opposed to Philosophy's normal size for a bubble bath, which is 16 ounces. The first one that we're going to look at is the Sugar Chick. This is a sugar-coated marshmallow shampoo, body gel, and bubble bath all in one. Um, so today we're just going to be looking at how well it performs in the bubble bath arena. Let's go ahead and take a smell right out of the bottle. Woo! Man, that smells like sugar. That is not any false advertising right there, folks. Um, actually, what it smells like is a marshmallow peep. Um, never thought about taking a bath with a marshmallow peep before. It's not exactly a rubber ducky, but we're going to see how well Sugar Chick by Philosophy uh, from their Hop Into Spring line performs today on the show. All right, let's hop in the bath. Okay, here we've got the Sugar Chick going into the bathtub with a nice squirter and a squirter is my very scientific term for uh, a nice big squirt and it's starting to foam up nicely so let's see how that continues. Alright folks, we're here in the tub and you can see from this shot the initial bubble quality of the sugar chick. Um, it's alright. It's got a nice coverage from side to side, but the bubbles are very thin. Let's see if I can get a close-up here for you. Um, not a whole lot of big, thick bubbles going on. And you can even see there is a hole uh, left from where I scoop the bubbles up, although it is filling in. The scent is nice and light. It's not overly marshmallowy as I feared. Let's give it 15 minutes and see how it goes. I'm going to grab my reading material. This month's Bust Magazine, it's got Maya Rudolph on the cover, and I'll set the timer for 15 minutes and see you back then. Okay guys, here we are at the 15 minute mark. There's not a whole lot of change in the bubbles, which is good. Still have a nice fine layer from side to side over the tub. The bubbles are thin, but they were to start off with, um, well, see if I can get some bubbles for you. Not a whole lot of change there. They might have deflated somewhat. They are still leaving holes. Um, I'm going to go back to my magazine after I set the timer for another 15 minutes and we'll see where we are at the 30 minute mark. Um, the Maya Rudolph article was amazing. Now I'm reading the article on small screen queens. It's um, pioneering ladies in the TV business in this month's issue of Bust. So I'll see you in 15 minutes. Hey folks, here we are at the 30 minute mark. As you can see, there are blessed few bubbles left. We've got a fine layer from side to side, but it's not really much and it's starting to pull away from the side. As you can see, there's only one really good pocket of bubbles at the 30 minute mark. The scent has pretty much gone away. Um, and uh, I have to say though, there isn't any residue, soapy residue on my skin. So that is a plus. Um, so let's get to the wrap up. So, what's the deal with Sugar Chick from Philosophy's Hop Into Spring gift box? Well, let's start off with the scent. Uh, right out of the bottle, the scent was overpowering. It really does smell just like a marshmallow paint. Um, and I was a little worried about that in the bath. Once you got it under the water, the scent was nice and light, still a little too sugary and marshmallowy for my taste. I don't want to smell like candy. Um, but if you love that smell, this might be a good buy for you. Um, as far as the price, I think the price is reasonable, six for six ounces. Um, that's in line with Philosophy's regular price. Um, uh, also, the bubble quality on this one, uh, not impressed. It blends into little flat bubbles once we put it under the water initially. At the 15 minute mark, most of them had, you know, kind of thinned out even more. At the 30 minute mark, there was hardly anything left. So um, I have to say, for bubble quality and persistence in Sugar Chick, I'm not impressed at all. Um, one thing I was impressed with was the skin feel. After the bath, my skin feels nice and soft. There's no scummy residue on it. Um, it didn't dry out my skin at all. As far as skin feel goes, this one is a real winner. Um, so, you know, how do I feel about Sugar Chick overall? Not for me. I wouldn't buy it again. The scent is way too sweet for me, um, although again, if you like that sort of thing, that might be a plus for you. Um, it was like bathing in a tub of melted marshmallow peeps, 
So if that appeals to you, awesome. If you're like me, um, you probably only give it around 2.5 bubbles out of 5, which is my rating for Sugar Chick. Thanks so much for joining us here on Bubble Bath Blog. I'm Gabrielle, your host, and until next time, may all your baths be blissful.